a young Roblox developer is sitting in a Discord call with his friends. They're inside the server of his niche and somewhat popular Roblox game, but unbeknownst to the developer, he's not the only one currently using his computer, as behind the scenes someone else has gained unauthorized access to everything, account details, personal files, photos, anything and everything that is on the PC. All of it stemming from one deceptive file. This is Noblox.js. It's a commonly used API wrapper that Roblox developers often implement into their games or Discord servers. It can be used for promoting users, shouting events, or creating Discord utilities. A completely normal two packages called Noblox.js proxy and Noblox.js proxies. They're impersonating a legitimate NPM package, with NPM being the package manager for Node.js a runtime environment for JavaScript, and subsequently what Noblox.js uses. Each malicious library boasted a total download count of 387. This was discovered in October 2021, where this was found in the package JSON file. What you're seeing is a batch script that the author tried to obfuscate. This batch script first targets the Windows UAC, attempting to bypass it via a Windows binary that claims to facilitate features on demand. It then uses PowerShell to download and grabs four malicious executables from Discord's CDN server. Doing so helps to disable anti-malware engines and deploy binaries that are capable of being ransomware. But from the four, the one we're going to focus on is the last. Tunamore.exe. This executable is referred to as a rat a remote access trojan. It allows a bad actor to essentially control another person's PC, having access to their passwords, emails, and personal information. In this situation, it displayed a ransom note to the user. Shortly after the ransomware was uploaded, NPM shot it down, but that wasn't the end of things. In August of 2023, it was found that another set of compromised packages were uploaded. They were essentially the same in terms of functionality as the previous two. They launch on Windows operated machines and deploy the executables hosted on Discord's CDN. However, these three packages had a unique characteristic. They also delivered a Luna grabber. This means that it deployed a multi-stage infection sequence where it also snatched up Discord tokens and other sensitive system information. The reason it makes the packages so hard to combat is because it can adapt, as it even has a self-destruct mechanism. The packages had a total of 963 downloads before their removal, but those who downloaded the packages still had their computers infected, leaving their personal machines as nothing more than digital husks. All the sensitive and personal information sold off and the computer itself is still backdoored. A small opening where someone can continue to creep in and out. It's almost a full year later, and as if like clockwork, even more malicious packages are uncovered, for this time, following the same typo squatting trend as the last few. The purpose of these packages was to install Steeler malware and a Trojan called Quasar Rat. The embedded code continued to do more of the same, stealing Discord tokens, updating the Microsoft antivirus exclusion list to avoid detection, and setting up a persistent state for the program via a Windows registry change. It hijacks the system settings, so that when the user opens the settings app, the malware is deployed. The goal is to embed the Quasar rat into the computer. This would grant the attacker remote access over the machine, being able to harvest its information with ease. Once harvested, it will then be transferred to a command and control server using a Discord webhook. To this day, Roblox developers seem to be at the center of consistent attacks to their systems, having to watch out for exploits and vulnerabilities, as they never know which files can be trusted and which ones cannot. <laughs>